Now, if being single during the holidays looks more like a horror movie than a classic Christmas rom-com, Oh, so are you seeing anyone? I am single and will probably die alone, so please pass me the eggnog. Then you are in luck, my sexy single ladies, because in this video, I'm gonna be giving you five holiday dating tips that actually work. Because believe it or not, December is one of the best times to meet someone for two reasons. For starters, it's cuffing season. People want to meet someone else so that they don't feel single and lonely during the winter months. And secondly, because it's the holiday season, you're probably gonna be reconnecting with old friends, family, and connecting with a lot of people who you usually don't connect with. And there are a lot of hidden opportunities at these various events to meet the man of your dreams. So keep watching. What's up all you sexy single ladies? Adam Ludolce from Sexy Confidence where I help you create your love story. And for myself as well as the rest of the team here at Sexy Confidence, we just wanna say thank you for being an incredible part of this community. It's been a huge year for all of us and I look forward to continuing serving you through 2020. And mark your calendars because on January 1st, 2020, I'm gonna have kind of a weird video coming out for all of you who are feeling a little bit hungover on New Year's Day. So make sure you subscribe if you're a new viewer because you're not gonna wanna miss this one. So let's jump into those five holiday dating tips that actually work. Tip number one is when you go to a holiday party, be the most festive person at that party. If you're going to an ugly sweater party this holiday season, you better wear the ugliest sweater in that entire party. Or you're going to a holiday work event, wear a Santa Claus hat. You don't need to be Christian to do that. Or if you're Jewish and you're going to an event at your temple, I don't know, wear like a Hanukkah hat if something like that exists. And I'm gonna Google this after, so we'll add it in editing. If a Hanukkah hat exists, let's put it on top of my head and see what it looks like. So assuming that hat does exist somewhere on the internet, wear something like that. Don't be afraid to stand out because that's what the holiday season is all about, is having fun, enjoying yourself, and connecting with people. And there's no better way to get guys to come up and talk to you than giving them something to actually talk about. And I guarantee a Hanukkah hat will get you the man of your dreams. Holiday dating tip number two is to ask a guy his favorite holiday drink. I don't know, maybe you're standing at Starbucks trying to decide what's your favorite coffee you wanna drink and I don't know, there's a nice guy right in front of you. Ask him what is his favorite holiday coffee. Or maybe you're at a party or an event and there's a bar there and there's a guy at the bar. Maybe you could ask him, what is like a really festive cocktail I could order right now? It's a very subtle yet effective way to start a conversation. Oh, and by the way, if he offers to buy you a drink, make sure you say this. Ooh, I can tell you're quite an elf a male. Get it? <laughs> now, holiday dating tip number three is to go to every single holiday event you can possibly go to. I remember back in the day, back when I was single many years ago, there was this holiday event called the matzah ball, and this was for Jewish singles to meet one another the night before Christmas. And it was such an epic party that I just had to go. Plus, most of my friends are Jewish because I come from a Jewish town. And believe it or not, when I would go there, I would meet a lot of people. And quite frankly, it didn't really matter my religious affiliation. It was just a great way to get out and meet new people. So regardless of your religious affiliation or what holiday you are celebrating this holiday season, I really recommend you take advantage of all the different holiday events that are going on out there. Get your girlfriends together, go out, go make it happen. This is a really festive and friendly time. Holiday dating tip number four is that when people ask you if you're single, I want you to be single and proud. For most people who are single this time of year, you just kind of feel like shit about your single status, which causes you to kind of lie a little bit. If someone asks you, oh, are you single right now? Are you seeing someone? A lot of people would be like, yeah, I'm like kind of talking to someone right now. But at that very moment, you've just missed an opportunity to tell everyone you're single and that's cool. Because who knows, if you tell the person you're talking to that you are single, you could even be like, I don't know, you know anyone? Statistically speaking, the way you're going to meet your future husband is going to be through friends. And unless friends or family know that you're single, it's gonna be really hard for them to introduce you to their friends. Don't allow the pressure of the holidays to make you feel bad about being single. There's nothing wrong with it. Be proud, get out there, and have fun. And finally, holiday dating tip number five is just to remember and keep this mentality that just because you're single doesn't mean that you're alone. The holiday season is a great time to reconnect with other people, to get out there, to be social, and just to be grateful for everything you have in your life. And if you do continue to feel lonely during this holiday season, then we are here for you. I'd love to see you in the Sexy Confidence Club membership. We have a forum where our members are able to connect and really support one another. 
You can also join me on live coaching calls where I'll be able to answer all your questions and be able to really coach you and mentor you on your path toward finding love. And at the same time, you'll be able to access all of the courses that are available in the Sexy Confidence Club as a member. You can join today and you won't pay anything until 2020 at this point. So we have a free 14 day free trial. So I'd love for you to try that out if you are at all feeling lonely because this membership is just full of incredible members who just help each other through the ups and the downs of dating. So thank you so much for being a part of this incredible community. I am so grateful to have all of you in my life. I can't tell you how much of a blessing it is to be able to do this for a living and to be able to wake up every single morning to comments and emails from all of you telling me that they found the love of their life from the advice I've been giving. So I'm incredibly grateful and I look forward to an incredible 2020 helping all of you find the man of your dreams. Speak to you in 2020, you sexy single ladies. Bye-bye.